Let's try to stun her. There's a heal. God, she summoned two more of these ice girls. These things suck. Okay, that clears the trash. Healing rune. Alright, so side to side laser and also the thing traveling across the floor. Oh my gosh. She's summoning bigger and bigger stuff. That works. If I can hit her with that angel one more time, it might be over. Phase two? <laughs> Is there a phase two? Phase two is the bird finally moves. Oh. He purged. Uh, is there a thingy in here? There's always a thingy. There's the thingy. You poked its eye out. Yep. First time you haven't one shot a boss in a minute? Yeah. Second try on that one. Remembrance of the Hollow Crow. Oh, Remembrance. That means boss armor chat. Kenranger Leader's Axe. All right, before I leave the Umbral, is there anything else over here? Doesn't look like it. All right. Someone redeemed Pet Chip. Your redeem, good sir, or madam. Your was worried your uh was worried that your reward was just a guy humming for a minute. <laughs> Not this time. Animated Vigor Skull. Oh, a beacon. Beacon number three.
Tower goes up and down. I'm guessing beacon is up. I don't really know what I'm doing with these, but I know it leads to an ending of the game. How close do you think you are to finishing the game? I would guess I'm over halfway, but I'm also picking up speed. Because, like, you know, at the beginning of the game, I I was worse. You know, it was taking me a lot longer to take down bosses and stuff like this. That boss took me two tries, and the three or four bosses before that, I first shot all of them. So, at this point, it's like the environment is taking me longer to progress through than the bosses. You know, and earlier on, I would have, you know, wipe on bosses a bunch. Duralium chunk, shards, nuggets, survive. Oh, nice. That's a lot of upgrade materials. But I've kind of got, like, a sustain build going on, and I really like it. You know, it'll... I'm not perfect, and it allows me to make mistakes and keep going. Um, I'm wearing... The two rings I'm wearing right now, one is health regen, one's mana regen. That's that's literally my, my accessories at the moment. And you can, you can see they're just constantly chugging along, and I, I love it. The game is so much better for me uh, in this way. That's a big courtyard. Um, that makes me think a boss is about to jump me. Crap, I'm a little nervous. Uh, we haven't gotten to rest since the bird. I've got two heals remaining, but... The Light Reaper. Oh my god. Is he invulnerable? Alright, hold on. Is this scripted? Oh, there we go. Oh, Jesus, what? Girls? Oh, no. Wow, they did 1,600. No, my spleen! I need the <laughs> I dodged too early. Crap. Oh no, I lost the target. I don't know if it's going to work. Honestly, this is kind of giving me a chance to catch my breath for a second. Need to dodge forward when he does that, dang it. Uh, I was dodging into standing up. I didn't realize he was going to do that again. Oh, I'm out of heals. I 
I missed the dodge timing. Am I dead? I am dead. Dang it. I don't think it's going to let me fight him again. Uh, I've had this guy jump me once before, except I died in the dragon phase and he never came down to the ground. And then when I came back, he never showed up again. So I think you have to one-shot this guy or else you lose the opportunity to fight him until later in the game. Oh, where am I? I'm back before this thing. So, but I, again, I hadn't rested since the bird, so I went into that fight with two heals. And I should usually have six. So, that was unfortunate. It was weird, though. He had, like, low armor? Because, like, my hits were giving me numbers I never see. Like, really big numbers. But it was still, you know, he still had a fat hit point bar, so it was like he had high HP but low armor class. It lets me fight him again. I'd like that. I'd be surprised, though. There's my souls. Nope. He's gone. Uh, uh, Yorkie's ring. Uh, additional frostbite damage. Oh, that's the guy that I just fought, I think, and killed this dude. Two Umbral Scouring. Left or right? Little Overlook? Okay. Is it the umbral? Wait, this is like back at the beginning. Um... Wait, is it back at the beginning? Yeah, there's the ladder. This is like the entrance to the snowy region. I mean, yeah, we got the beacon. Where do you go after that? What kind of a fool do you take me for? Why, is there more than one kind? Huh. Evening all. Hi, Bainsy. I guess I'll go to town and see if anyone says anything new, and if not, we may have to once again wiki where am I supposed to go. Alright, warp to Skyrest. Let's see what we find there. There's a couple of times already I've had more than any other like Souls game I've ever played. I feel like I'm frequently having to wiki where the heck am I supposed to go now? Our holy work continues, Lampbearer. Let Arius's will be done. Lag. Oh my gosh. 
You serve a higher purpose. Nothing new on him. In light we walk. Upgrade lamp. Only second time in the game we've gotten to do this. Purchase. Of the lamp. Like you, I Someone told me on Discord that I was going to need this to get past something later. I don't know why, but I'll go ahead and buy it. Um, remembrance. So this is like boss equipment. Hollow Crow. Uh, a carefully crafted whistle. Unable to accept how he failed Lucy, York tampered with the primal magic of Uderanger. Almost entirely forgotten by his people after generations in Mornstead. But what returned to York was not his niece, but a mockery of life, and so his eyes turned towards one's one final, even more desperate gamble. Uh, dress of the Drowned. Permanently cold and damp. <laughs> Great. Uh, Mask of the Drowned. Uh, okay. Grieving Gaze. Summon an airborne creation of umbral magic which rains down shards of ice. Okay. Don't know that I'm going to use it, but let's try it out. Whoa. Okay, so it just like hovers, 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 boom in front of you in a cone, it seems like. Alrighty. Alright, um... That merchant's still going. Does this lady who hates me have anything new to say? Do additional damage with bows and arrows. No. Alright, let's rest to get out of the Umbral, because it's laggy AF. Good evening. Hello, Alien EXE! Um, Lords of the Fallen, where to go after... Let's see. Lower Calrath, Sunless Sky, Upper Calrath, Beld Rise... Thief of the Chill Curse. I just did the Thief. Beld Rise. Once you've slain the sacred resonance of tenacity, the rest of the journey isn't. Wait, what? It doesn't tell me how to get there. What a terror. Dude, okay, there's a list of all the areas you go to. Alright, so Bell to Ride. How do I get there? Hang on a sec. Uh, Bell Rise. Wait, I think I've done this. This looks familiar. Okay, pretty sure I've done Bell Rise. All right, Path of Devotion, optional. Mance of Hallowed Brothers. Mance of Hallowed Brothers. Path of Devotion walkthrough. I think I've done that also, that looks familiar. Mance of Hollowed Brothers. I've done this too. I recognize that. This friggin' game. <sighs> Tower of Penance, Abbey of Hallowed Sisters, Empyrean, and Branis Castle. Tower of Penance, I've done that. Abbey of Hollowed Sisters. I don't know if I've done this. When you're done with the tower, next place is to go is back through the tower, then over the bridge. To the right, you should see pink followers and trees with a gate you can open. As you enter the gate, you'll find Stomund, and he tells you why he's there. You can find him again, he'll give you the broken banner. 
You hand this over to him inside the square abbey. Probably says, so from the gate run along, you know, sir, uh, send piercer. Um, I don't know if I've done this. Okay, can I figure out how to get there? Let's see, warp to vestige. Oh my gosh, the real game is figuring out how to get through the game. Ah, oh, none of these tell me anything. And this guy doesn't say which vestige to use. What is your three favorite bosses so far? Oh god, I have no idea. Honestly, the the bosses have been fun. Uh, most of them I've got I've killed uh, first try or first few tries um, after like the early game. Um, the rough part has just been like in between the bosses. Like right now, I'm trying to figure out where the do I go. Use the prettiest one. There's not a muckluck vestige. Like, uh, they just the, these labels are so terrible. Like I, I mouse over one, and there's just a paragraph about like history lesson. Path of Devotion Memorial, Mant Supply, Crow's Nest, Sunless Sky, and Revelation Depths, Upper Calrath, Thief of the Chill Curse, Sunless Sky, Upper Calrath, Lower Calrath, Lower Calrath, Pilgrim's Perch, Forsaken Lake, Forsaken Fen, Shoot a Hamlet, Sanctuary. Yet none of these say Tower of Penance. So which vestige is closest to the Tower of Penance? Is the story catching your attention? I don't know the story at all. <laughs> It's one of those games where I would need to watch an hour-long explanation of the story uh, afterward. <sighs> okay. What is the name of the place I'm trying to get to? One sec. Mans of Hallowed Brothers is done. Uh, with Tower of Penance, I'm pretty sure I did. Abbey of Hallowed Sisters. Okay. Um, how to reach Abbey of Hallowed Sisters. After clearing... Okay, if Extra Life has something. Um, find Stone, Zinger 2... Turned away by Abbas. God damn it, I cannot find... I, I found two guides on different websites, and neither of them tell me how to get back to the tower. Is the map big? There's not even a map! Yes, it's massive, and there isn't one. Sunless sky connected to Upper Calrath. All right, let's try this. How to reach Tower of Penance. Uh, let's see. Once you're at the end of the bridge and stand before the tower. Okay, nope, you've already lost me. Scroll up. Uh, keep the good door, trying to get over the bridge. Um, it connects to the Mance of Hallowed Brothers. Okay. Mance Supply Pathway? Okay, maybe that one. Alright, that's the best I got, I guess. Let's try that. It's got the word Mance in it. Game is too new. No full guilds yet to this rate. You'll be the first. Guides? Oh no, there, there's guides. There's like 20 page walkthroughs and stuff like that, but... Mmm... All right, I do remember, like, I, I see this right here, and I remember this area. Oh my god. But how this connects to the tower, I don't recall. Hello, Hironodo. Like, I remember dying here like 14 times to a big guy that's up this hill. 
After clearing tower penance, you can now go back to the math. Yeah, I know. I can't remember how to get back to the tower. That's the problem. That wall's gonna break open in a second. It's not open from this side. I guess I never opened that. Okay, this is the manse, and I know there was a vestige over here. Alright, which one is this one? Brother Jeremiah. Yeah, I'm not going to remember that. Alright, let me see if somewhere from here I can find my way back to the Tower of Penance. I remember when I beat the Tower of Penance, there was a seedling spot there, and I made a seedling there. However, uh, that, you know, didn't help a whole lot later on uh, when my, I moved my seedling to the next area. Oh god, this room. PTSD. Remember this. Like, I had a seedling in here for a while to get around. Ow. gone in a circle. You can start from the Abbey of the Hollowed Sisters Vestige. Oh, 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 ah, dang it, I remember this. I don't know if this gets to the Tower of Penance, but I remember this from previous corpse runs. Nice, my weapon bounces off the wall. Alright, there was a boss there, I killed it. There's the Tower of Penance, right there, straight ahead. Okay, 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 okay. I know what I need to do. God, if I die, it's gonna be such a run. There's the tower. What? Did I finish the tower? Hold on. Was the beacon red or white at the top of it? Alright, hold on. We gotta deal with this. Is 
it's red. I, hmm. I've, I know I went up and down a lot.